Well, guess where we are? We're in Onslow. Uh, look, it's really difficult to find bookings in school holidays, which we didn't account for. So we've skipped Coral Bay and we've gone straight from Carnarvon to Onslow. Um, so it's a real sort of like industrial mining town. But anyway, we thought, why not? We don't care, we can go anywhere. So this is what it looks like from the foreshore. So we're just gonna take a walk to the lookout. But there's crocodiles in there, so there won't be any um, swimming or taking young Stella down for a stroll on the water's edge. So we thought we were just going to walk to this lookout and it, this is really great boardwalk. I don't know how far it goes, but look at it. Well, let's see what's at the end of this. a picnic area at the end of the boardwalk and um, someone's left a collection of shells there but yeah it was a long boardwalk but really really cool good morning it's our second day in Onslow and we're going to take another walk down the opposite way of the foreshore but we've just put some fuel in the car and it's two dollars thirty a litre here so we filled up enough to get to the next stop. So tomorrow we'll come back and fill up the motorhome to a degree. Um, but yeah, $2.30. Anyway, let's check it out. There's a foreshore caravan park, which we're not in. We're at the Discovery. But point of interest for travelers, none of the caravan parks here have a dump point. They've got two dump points in town, so that's what you need to do when you're here. But these guys are right on the waterfront. Yeah, so my fear is real. It's actually quite a nice little walk here along the foreshore. Those statues are dogs, I believe. Let's go. So let's check them out. Paparazzi dogs. was done it went viral and brought heaps of visitors to the town just to get a picture with this I better do an Instagram pic all right so um, we're on our way to old Onslow um, which was closed in 1927 because the jetty was destroyed and what else a river was silting up the river was silting up, so they, the government decided to move on slow, 27 k's down that way. So anyway, let's go and have a look.
got to Old Onslow Town and if you've got a four wheel drive you can drive all the way up to the river and it's got all these plaques and signs that you can stop at, read on the way back and it's, it's quite a bit of fun. So four wheel drive, check out Old Onslow Town. you find it's so much fun going on these adventures oh so this is the police station complex and obviously behind me is the prison not that I'd know much about that so behind me here must be the prison cells amazing and on the top of the wall they've got glass to prevent escape and I'm assuming that that's equivalent to the razor wire law and order frontier 19 sorry 1893 the police station comprised of an office, courthouse and lock-up living quarters. It would be good if they labelled what all the rooms were. But isn't this fabulous? Hi, so we left Onslow and we headed towards Carafa. And today we had a quiet day. We just did some shopping and you know just boring stuff. But we thought we'd take a quick drive this afternoon to the Carafa Water Tower lookout. So have a look. As it turns out, we'll be spending a little bit of time in Carafa because I have to get my car serviced and um, there's a Mitsubishi here. So we'll do that and uh, we'll do some tours around here in Dampier. So um, come along for the adventure. So unfortunately, whilst we were in Carafa, we didn't get to do Dampier and Red Dog because we had a bit of a mishap, young Stella became quite ill and had to go in for surgery which of course left us a bit feeling a bit down so anyway she recovered well and continues on with our adventures so we didn't do much in Karatha at the end of the day but we'll be back so we can do all that another time.
Hi, so we left Karatha early this morning. Well, not really early, 10 o'clock. And um, check it out. Grey River, grey stock. What? The Grey River, Grey River, River Grey. I said the Grey River. The Grey River. The Grey River. D E Grey River. Not that we're going to be going anywhere near that river because it's got crocodiles. So, anyway, check it out. Lots of bands. Not sure if you could see our setup at the back there, but it's just a stop for today and uh, we'll move forward tomorrow. Cheers. The other thing of note here for this roadside stop is they provide dump points, drop toilets, picnic area, and bins. The other thing you find here is poison weed and crocodiles. Simon's gone down to the river, but uh, me and this little black dog aren't doing that. There's the setup. Back to the van now for a super duper. So we've done a quick stop at the Sandfire Roadhouse. So we've been driving for about two hours, approximately. So just put some petrol on the Winnie, bit of a stopover, and now we'll continue on. So here we are at the famous Cable Beach where you can drive along the beach and where you can see the sunset and the camels walking along. So hopefully we'll get some footage of that later. Today you can swim because they've got the lifeguards out but be aware, never smile at a crocodile.
So we decided to drive down onto Cable Beach and um, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Pretty specky. Taking a drive and a little walk out to Ganthian Point. Hope I pronounced that right, but it's so beautiful with the blue, blue sea, the aqua against the red. Just stunning. Shame you can't swim in there because all you want to do is jump in, but oh my god, it's gorgeous. After a day of walking around, it was a little bit hot for the little pug, so why not just stop at Matsu's and have a brew? Cheers. Cheers.